Thank you for staying. Now we'll begin the newspaper review with uh, the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. It leads with political stories. Uh, it says, APC under fire for pegging presidential forms at 100 million naira. The writer says, governorship forms go for 50 million naira. Uh, it's a recipe for fraud, and that's according to Don and others. Uh, the other writer says, it's plot to disenfranchise us, and that's the aspirants uh, speaking up. Uh, next power ceded to NWC for 90 days. These are the outcomes of the meeting, of the uh, next meeting of the APC. Uh, <laughs> the picture of there shows the President Muhammad Buhari and other executive committee members during the 11th National Executive Committee meeting of the APC. Uh, you also have below that, NAF airstrike kills six children, destroys houses in Niger. Uh, the story is at the very bottom of the paper, says Nigeria's subsidies have significant negatives, according to the World Bank. 2023 elections, raise up for challenges, CJN tells judges, and then gunmen attack Anambra police station, burn vehicles. At the top, uh, above the lead story, you see the story about uh, PDP. It says PDP rakes in 646 million from 17 presidential aspirants, ends forms sale. The next one farmers, merchants disappointed as prices of grains continue to drop in Taraba. Well, very interesting stories. This is exactly what we opened the, the, show, with. Uh, the show with, you know, about the APCs. Uh, pegging of 100 million naira as the cost of the presidential form for the party. Yeah, I mean, if I you are paying 100 million naira just to pick up the nomination form, then what about the campaigns? How much will you be spending through the campaigns? Let's not forget, campaigns have commenced already. Mm -hmm. They will have to be paying for you know their movements, and of course they don't move you know alone. You know, you, you have a whole entourage that goes with them. So if you are taking a jet, for instance, to fly from Lagos to Kano or to Katsina to meet with the people and all of that, how much are you spending on fuel? Aviation fuel, let's not forget, is now, you know, at a very, very high uh, price for a liter. I think it goes for around 500 or 600, between 500 to 600 mm -hmm. uh, naira, naira per liter. So how is that you know and who is providing the funds for all of that which is why a lot of people are raising concern about the cost of you know uh, elections and the cost of running for of political office in nigeria and the implication of that on nigeria's uh, democracy so it's really something that uh, is worrisome the argument is likely to be that uh, there's high rates of high inflation in the country and so perhaps even politics uh, political uh, well, politicians will have to also bear the brunt in some way. But 100 million is that not too much for a form? It's, it's quite like what does it take to print the form? Is it printed <laughs> or what? <laughs> I mean, I'm just some would say is it printed in gold? Exactly. Well, I mean, so if, so if we have such high gold. spendings, yeah. if we have such high projections yeah. for our spendings politically and in campaigns and the rest of them, maybe the form should be, you know, uh, lesser in terms of price, sure. if you think about it. But again, I mean, ours is just to bring up all the updates for you every now and then. So you can take a look at that. Yeah, if you want more details of the uh, story, you can pick a copy of the Daily Trust uh, newspaper. It's something worrisome. And if you, you know, put that side by side, uh, the APC is saying 100 million. If you put that side by side with that of the PDP, the PDP's form goes for, for the presidential goes for 40 million naira. Well, you know, that's way, way lesser, about less than, you know, 50 percent, 
So and, and a lot of people actually didn't see this coming. We're mm -hmm. not expecting to see yeah, this well, huge well, sum. Yeah, yeah, it's quite high. And I am wondering how youths, you know, women, uh, people with disability will cope with all of this, yeah. even though that they say that they are making some exceptions. But even at that, mm -hmm. I really do not know how it's going to pan out. For youths, for instance, that's a 40% discount, mm -hmm. right? For, for those women. youths. So, well. which means that we are looking at 60 million naira. So, if you have it's a 40% discount, huge. 60 million is still, still huge, huge, right? Still huge. And then, you know, you talk about maybe women. Women, for women, they said, well, the forms are going to be free. All they need is to pay for the expression of interest uh, forms. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. It's like we make it. Because with the Electoral Act, you know, we were rejoicing that, mm -hmm. oh, yes, we're getting it right. right. Electronic voting is coming into play, you know, and, and, and the rest of them. And then this happens. So it's more like one, one step, step forward, forward and then two steps back, step backwards. Because, again... You are disenfranchising some people who cannot, you know, afford this much for uh, the forms. So we'll, get to, we'll continue to uh, spotlight this. Now, take a look at this. PDP rakes in 646 million naira from 17 uh, presidential aspirants uh, ends forms sale. Now, if you take a look at the number of people that have declared for presidency in the APC, and if you look at, you know, this... Uh, figure. We are likely uh, to see perhaps a billionaire mm -hmm. realized at the end of the day right. uh, because I, I think that there are more than 10 now, those who right. have you know, declared intention to run for presidency under the APC. So you are likely to see more than a billionaire for the APC when the, PD, when the PDP is talking about you know, 646 million. So, uh, well, I don't know. I really don't know, but we'll no. continue to spotlight that. And look at the story about NAV airstrike kills six children, destroys houses in Niger again. That is quite disturbing, really very disturbing. Another disturbing one. You say, well, the argument will be, oh, it's collateral damage, isn't yeah. it? But I think that some kind of collateral damages can be avoided. Truly. When we calculate, you know, properly, because this is avoided. This is avoided. Right? We talk about deploying, and this is one of my fears when we talk about deploying the Tucano, Tucano jets you know, in, in the northwestern part of the country. What's, what is it going to be you know, if you take a look at some of these incidences? Uh, this is not the first of its kind. We've had several of this several happen in the northeastern like part of the country, okay. uh, Meduguri, I mean, in Borno, in Yobe. Uh, so I don't know. Perhaps we need to do more in terms of getting our, you know, our data right, you know, in terms of uh, carrying out such uh, attacks. Mm. Well, that's that for the Daily Trust newspaper. Let's take a look at some other papers and see what they are saying. Okay, let's take a look at uh, some more stories on the leadership newspaper this morning. Uh, and leads uh, with the story, 40 days to presidential primary. APC moves to avert clash of interest. Party neck concedes power to NWC. Uh, and the writers there say CSOs kick as APC pegs presidential nomination forms at 100 million, governorship 50 million. Uh, it's a party affair, says INEC. And then PMB warns against imposition of candidates. Adamu blames governors for crisis in party, urges unity, party interest. Uh, and then uh, you find some other stories on the leadership newspaper right at the top. Troops kill 25 terrorists, rescue six captors in Lake Chad. Uh, leadership awards will spur us to do more. Governor Yahya to, uh, Governor Yahya rather, and then Ned Ngokolo. Uh, again, CJN warns judges against corrupt practices, showy lifestyle. Uh, details of that story is on page 7. And then World Bank asks federal government to reconsider $4 trillion fuel subsidy. Uh, over 43,000 Nigerian pilgrims to perform Hajj 2022. And then you see also train attack. RFI gives nine victims' families $18 million.
These are some of the major stories. The All leader. right. Um, let's take a look at uh, some more stories uh, on the Blueprint newspaper. It leads with the same story as uh, that of the Daily Trust. It says, APC presidential ticket. Osibanjo, Tinubu, Amechi, others to cough out 100 million naira each. It has the writers that says, governorship uh, 50 million naira, a senatorial uh, reps 20 million naira, and then 10 million naira respectively. Female aspirants, uh, PWDs, that's uh, persons with disabilities, uh, free. And the next writer there says, Buhari wants gov governors against imposition of candidates oppressive behaviors. Uh, let's avoid PDP's self-destruct mistakes. And that's Adamu. Uh, he wants ex-governors to uh, re recognize incumbent as party leaders. Uh, NEC transfers powers to NWC for 90 days, uh, settles for indirect primaries. Uh, Lawan, Bajabia Mila demand automatic tickets for NAS uh, members. So you also see with little resources, we have done much. Nigerians forgetful, and that's according to uh, Buhari. Uh, Buhari to ministers summit report on local vaccine production next month. And then uh, below the pictorial, most Nigerian governors not developing, de not development driven, and that's according to uh, Yuguda. Well, a lot of people say, well, the system has been rigged against us. I guess that's what some of the aspirants will be saying, mm. you know, looking at this, you know, a lot of accusations and allegations about, you know, rigging the election even before it starts. Before it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Quite interesting politics. Yeah, well, um, I hope that we do better. Truly. Well, let's look at uh, some more stories on the Daily Independent. Uh, looks like uh, most of the papers today are, are leading with the story about uh, you know, uh, primary election and the cost of nomination forms and all of that. Uh, on the Daily Independent, outrage trails APC 100 million, 50 million presidential guba forms. Uh, participation in election, now business to earn profit. This is according to lawyers. Say political parties have transformed to revenue collectors. Huriwa condemns APC, urges arrest probe of form buyers. Commercial exercise would dampen hopes of the nation. This is according to Sislac. Uh, and then you see uh, other stories on the Daily Independent. COVID-19, Buhari gives minister deadline to submit vaccine production report. Brace up ahead uh, of 2023 polls. CJN urges new judges. NAF chief vows to probe crashed aircraft in Kaduna rise, raises panel. Assistant Police Commissioner Slums dies in Bielsa. Uh, and you'd also see the story about 2023 presidential election. PDP in dilemma over consensus as 17 jostle for parties ticket. Uh, Oni berates fire me over salaries of recalled ex -su staff. Uh, and then right at the top, you see we are at risk of losing 2023 election. Uh, this is according to the APC chairman. Lament supremacy battle between governors, predecessors, uh, party adopts indirect primaries, neck seeds powers to NWC. Uh, and you'd also see I'll deploy tougher measures in tackling insecurity. Uh, this is according to uh, Nigeria's president, Muhammad Buhari. Uh, these are some of the major stories on the Daily Independent. All right. Well, quite interesting how the story about APC's nomination forms is generating reactions. Uh, it's virtually in all the papers. But let's take a look at the national economy and see what they have uh, to offer this morning. Now, the lead story there, just as the name implies, national economy, they are leading with a different story, not political. Uh, it says, Forex scarcity imputes short supply uh, further slow Nigeria's productive sectors. And then you have World Bank ask FG to reconsider 4 trillion naira uh, subsidy. The story is below the pictorial. Uh, crypto assets used in Nigeria, others to bypass capital restrictions. That's according to IMF. Chinese firm expedites action on $3 billion for Tarkot Meiduguri Rail Project. 900 Nigeria graduates set for Dangote Refinery Oil 
gas trading. Travelers through Nigerian airports increased to 13 million in 2021. That's uh, the National Bureau of Statistics. Uh, well, that's that for the national economy. Uh, the lead story, Forex scarcity uh, imputes short supply further slows Nigeria's productive sectors. This is what the national economy is reporting even after the IMF is projecting a likely uh, increase in Nigeria's GDP to 3.7% uh, thereabout. So that's that for the national economy. Uh, let's take a look at some more. Okay, let's take a look at the stories on the Daily Times. Uh, 2023 APC pegs presidential form at 100 million, 50 million for governorship form. Slate's presidential primaries from May 30th to 31st as neck transfers pass to NWC for 90 days. Buhari warns party leaders against imposition of candidates, urges litigants to withdraw cases. Uh, right at the top, uh, insecurity, Buhari vows to be tougher going forward, says Boko Haram neither about religion nor ethnicity. Uh, ASU accuses federal government of failure to prioritize varsity education. Uh, 2023, no decision taken yet on zoning. Mode of primaries, uh, this is coming from the APC spokesman. Uh, and then Khan condemns provocative, insensitive advertisement by Sterling Bank. Desist from unmerited wealth, ostentious lifestyle. CJ and warns judges. Uh, quite interesting stories. On the right. daily okay. Uh, well, the same old, same old. Uh, let's take a look at the Nigerian News Direct, uh, the next paper. Uh, leads with the same story. APC 2023 presidential ticket. Aspirants to pay 100 million naira for nomination, EOI firms. Uh, rules out consensus. Buhari warns against imposition of candidates. NEC delegates powers to NWC to act for 90 days. Adamu blames party crisis on supremacy battle amongst former and serving governors. Of course, it's a major issue, especially at the sub-national level uh, when you have you know, senators, governors, both serving and former at loggerheads, most times maybe because of, you know, power sharing arrangements in the state uh, and all of that. And so just to show you how typical Nigerian politics is, you know, in terms of the desperation for power and for control, such that even as a serving governor, you are having forces to contend with in making sure that you move the state, the state forward. So it's not just about getting into the office. And if that's the case for the sub at the sub-national level, imagine what it will be at the national level where you have to be present and you have you know, other political interests to deal with. You have the opposition on one hand. You also have former, political, uh, former politicians who have served in government and all of that. So it's, it's also something that yeah, puts pressure uh, sometimes on uh, our, our people in public offices in terms of their delivery and all of that. Uh, all the stories on the News Direct. Uh, Darie Inyame, pardon in line with Constitution, will not derail anti-corruption war. And that's according to uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Fintech, Nigeria ahead of South Africa in venture capital as African startups get $2.5 billion in 2021. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, then other stories we have at the top, at the very top, above the nameplate, BOI announces 184.6 billion naira gross earnings in 2021. Uh, NAF to investigate uh, cause of trainer aircraft crash in Kaduna. Uh, NIDA to commemorate World Creativity and Innovation Day. And then at the very bottom, bomb blast, Taraba Assembly Speaker urges security agencies to fish out culprits. Uh, OAU female student accuses lecturer of sexual assault. IGP receives women affairs minister, reveals progress on Osinachi's case. 
So these are some of the stories on the front page of the News Direct uh, this morning.